This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Friday, April 15th, 2016. Euro dollar. So this latest breakdown in the euro below some range support at 1327 does open the door for fresh downside over the coming sessions towards next key support at 111.45, which is that low going back to the 24th of March. At this point, if we do see any rallies, they should really be capped initially towards that previous support turn resistance at 1327, but ultimately ahead of 114. Only back above 114.65, that recent 2016 high, would negate this prospect for now a short-term top. Above 1465 would, however, open the door for a fresh upside extension, potentially exposing a move into the 115 to 117 area, which is critical longer-term resistance. Sterling dollar. So cable has once again stalled out into rallies with the market potentially putting in a lower top at 143.48 ahead of the next downside extension below recent support at 140.05. A break below 140.05 would then expose a direct retest of the recent seven year low from February at 138.36. Ultimately at this point rallies are continuing to be continued to be expected to be well capped with only a break back above 145.15 that high going back to the 18th of March to really compensate compromise or delay this outlook. Dollar Yen. So despite gains in recent trade and this minor correction off those recent multi-month lows, Dollar Yen remains pressure to the downside and could be looking to put in a lower top ahead of the next major downside extension below that recent multi-month low and 2016 low at 107.63 and towards a measured move at 106.50 further down. At this point, look for 110.67, that previous 2016 base, to offer itself as some, pre, uh, some formidable uh, previous support now turn resistance while ultimately it would take a break back above the 114 to 115 area to compromise this bearish outlook for dollar yen. Euro Swiss. So not much going on with Euro Swiss as it continues to hover just over some multi-week range support in the 108 area. At this point, if the market holds above 108, the broader recovery structure does remain intact and the market could see fresh upside back above recent highs going back to early March at 110.24, above which exposes the multi-month peak going back to early 2016 in February at 112 further up. Only a close below 108 would really delay the constructive outlook for Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So Aussie continues to hover or tra trade just off recent 2016 highs. We had seen the 2016 peak set back in, um, on, on the 31st of March at 72 20, at 77.23, but that was has since been broken on Thursday with the market rallying up to 77.37. Again, but the market would need to really establish a close above that previous high or close back above yesterday's 77.37 high to open the door for the possibility of a next major upside extension towards next key medium term resistance at 78.50. Inability to close above that recent high at 77 in the 77.20s or yesterday's high at 77.37 would suggest that the market is looking a little bit tired and could be putting in a top ahead of the next major downside extension. But ultimately, a break back below 74.77, that low that we saw back on the 24th of March, would be required to put the pressure back on the downside. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has been consolidating its latest round of setbacks to fresh 2016 lows. The market has extended down to 127.45 thus far and could be consolidating ahead of that next major downside extension towards a measured move downside extension in the 125 area. At this point, it would take a rally back above 132.17, the high that we saw going back to the 5th of April, to take the immediate pressure off the downside. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi continues to be well capped on a medium term basis up above 69 and ahead of 70, although the market has at the same time not been willing to break lower at this point. It is going to take a break back below 67.59, that low that we saw on the 5th of April, to strengthen the bearish outlook and accelerate declines. Until then, we could see another shot at the top side, though again, it's going to be hard for the market to establish back above some critical medium term resistance ahead of 70. 
SPX 500. So the S&P 500 seemingly is putting in fresh 2016 highs now on a daily basis, but the rally is expected to be well capped towards some major psychological barriers at 2100, where a medium term or longer term lower top is sought out ahead of the next major downside extension, ultimately exposing a retest of 1808 and then seeing a, a fresh extension below there. It's going to take, though, a break back below 2021, that low that we saw going back to the 24th of March to really strengthen this outlook and accelerate declines. Again, if we do see any rallies from here, they should be well capped below 2100 with only the establishment on a weekly close back above 2100 to really compromise this bearish outlook and open the door for a potential retest of those record highs from 2015. Gold. So gold has seen some setbacks in recent trade, though the market has been overall consolidating above 1200 over the past several weeks. At this point, there's some solid previous resistance now turned support at 1190, and a break back below that level would really be required to put the pressure back on the downside. Ultimately, while the market holds above 1190 area on a daily close basis, the pressure does remain on the top side, and we could see a fresh upside extension eventually back above the recent 2016 peak in the 1284 area and towards the 2015 peak at 1307 further up.